Hey everybody, it's me, Samantha. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought we would do a coloring book haul. I purchased some new books for August, and I wanted to share those with everybody. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today is August 2nd. I'm doing pretty good. Um, I have a little bit of a head cold because we have a lot of smoke in the area right now and my sinuses are all plugged up. So if you hear me sniffling, I apologize. It is what it is. I can't really help it. <laughs> but yeah, um, not much is new. I did start a new diamond painting. I started my diamond art club one and it's a big one. So it's going to take me a long time to do. Let's see if I have the box here. It is this red barn one, so I'll probably show it in a couple videos throughout the month or something. Um, but yeah, it's really pretty. The The drills are super gorgeous. I'm very excited. I'm going to give it to my mom-in-law, um, Coco, when she moves into her new apartment close to us. She got a new apartment, so we're going to be helping her move this month. And this month is kind of busy. I don't know... Again, my filming schedule is all over the place anyway, but uh, my parents' birthdays are at the end of the month, and mine and my husband's 15-year wedding anniversary is this month, so that's on the 21st. Um, so those weeks, I don't know when I'll be able to film something, but I'll try to get something out for you guys. So let's go ahead and get into the coloring book haul. I did go a little bit overboard this month. And I probably shouldn't have. I don't need anything at all. I'm like pretty well set for the rest of the year. And I really need to cut back on buying stuff. So that's going to be my main goal for the next few months is to not buy as much until like November, I'm going to say. These are all my diamond painting pens. I kind of got into a little bit of a habit of buying them. And collecting them because they're so pretty and I really like them so yeah I don't know I just need to stop I have enough stuff I, my desk space is not that big and I'm all set I have a lot of stuff I could work on so the first book that I got is mystical world by Coco Wyo that is what it the cover looks like it's super pretty um, if you guys know Coco Wyo books, you know kind of what they look like. I'll just do a quick little flip here of what some of the pages look like. I just think they look super fun. And I do like coloring this kind of stuff. That one's pretty. I like the bird. It's like a dragon thing. I don't know. Really, this kind of stuff really annoys me. That's clearly a printer error. Why don't they just replace the page? I don't understand. We're paying money for a book. And now I can't, I can still color the page, but it's going to be tainted. So I don't know. That irritates me. That one's cute. So if you guys aren't familiar with Coco Wild books, she's got a bunch of them on Amazon. They're fairly decent priced and they all kind of look like this and have this feel of them. Ooh, that one will be fun for Halloween. I can't wait to color that one. And I think this year they are my favorite books that I've been coloring in. Or at least one of my top ten favorite books. I also have been really liking Deborah Muller books this year. And um, Satch and Satch Davis books. So yeah. I'll do that video later on in the year. I think my top ten favorite books. I'm not sure. But there is that one. The next book that I got, I saw on a friend's 
YouTube page. This is Pumpkin Patch Blessings. This is a Deborah Muller book. It's a fall book. I just liked it. It looked really cute. And here's what some of these pictures look like. This will be fun. That one's cute. I tend to go like front to back in most books when I color them. But sometimes I'll pick different pictures. So what are your guys' favorite coloring book artists? What are your guys' favorite books you've been coloring in this year? This is kind of about the time of year where I start thinking about that and like what books I really love and what books um, I really am not a fan of. The next book that I got was Magical Jars Coloring Book. This is by Coloring Book Cafe. Their books are okay. Sometimes I, I really like their pictures because they're simple. And other times I'm not a big fan of them, so. Like, I'm not a big fan of their intro pages. I think they can do a better job. And I'm not a big fan of these test pages because they don't use or do anything with them. And I think they're a waste of space and a waste of paper because most of, I mean, this is like six pages that I just use as coloring, like a blotter page, you know. And I think they could do more pages or they can put more pictures in their books. Oh, that one's cute. And that one's pretty. I like this one. That's cute. Mm -hmm. I don't know about this guy. I don't like that guy. He looks weird. And the mice are cute. <gasps> A weather one. I love weather. I wish they would do more weather books. That's cute. The little elephant. Oh, I love that one. Cute. Okay, so there's that book. And then I got Easy Summer by Joshua Dunbar. I have Easy Spring, I think. And I need Easy Fall and Easy Winter. And then I'll have all of them. I do like these books. They're a little bit dark and thicker than I'm used to. Like this one's really, really thick, dark line art and I love it, but I'm just not used to coloring it. So, oh, the cute little kitty sleeping in the flowers. So this is what his pages look like. That's cute. I've seen this picture a lot. Oh, that one's cute. The drive-in movie with the kitties. That's an idea I've never seen before. And that one's pretty. I like that one. I 
I like the cat pictures in here. They're very cute. There's Daisy. So yeah, that's just what some of the pictures in this book looks like. Next, we have Peppermint Kisses and Gingerbread Wishes by Deborah Muller. I've seen this on a couple channels, and I've always wanted it, so I decided to pick it up for Christmas this year. I don't have very many of her Christmas books, and I really like to color her Christmas pictures because they're very, they're just my style, so. Her face looks kind of weird. Looks like a man to me. <laughs> that one's cute. Kiss the cook. There's Daisy and Harley. That one's cute. I like that one. There's me shopping. The cute little kitty. That one's cute with the reindeer. It's different. That dress is pretty. I like that one. Frozen pie. <laughs> that one's funny. Peeping Santa. I'm looking forward to Christmas coloring this year. I'm also looking forward to Halloween coloring. I'm trying to hold off because I'm in a Halloween mood right now and I want to color more fall pictures, but I don't want to burn myself out too early because last year I burnt myself out way too early on coloring fall and Halloween pictures. So, Next book I got was A Million Little Monsters. This is Lulu Mayo's newest release. I love the cover. This is my favorite cover of hers she's ever done. I love the dark blue and I love the kind of, it's not gold, it's like a rose gold embellishment that she has on here. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Look at how cute these pictures are. If you are not a fan of Lulu Mayo, what are you doing? Because... They're just so cute. I love it. I can't wait to color these pictures. Look at that. The little monsters. Oh my gosh. These are so cute. I'm so looking forward to coloring in this book. The cute little ghosties. And the little bunny with the candy. Oh my god. Oh my god. And the monster. That's cute. So cute. Oh look. There's me. There's me, just hanging out for spooky season. The little spiders, that reminds me of, have you ever seen the Miyazaki film, Spirited Away, and the little, the little black dudes? They're like little black fuzzballs, and they're so cute. Oh my gosh. I am in love. I'm in love. Each picture gets cuter and cuter. If you have to buy one book this fall, get this book. 
You will not be disappointed. Oh my gosh. Look at the cat. Look, oh man. Look at the monster. That one's so cute. I love it. I know I keep saying I love it, but I love it. I can't stop. This little girl is so cute with her little monster friends. Oh, my Lanta. There's Wednesday. And the cats. The cats. Look at the cat. Oh my gosh. And the sheep, dogs. These are poodles. That one's cute. That looks like a Maria Troll page with the leaves. The robots. I'm not a fan of the robots, to be honest. Robots are just not really my thing, but everything else is totally my thing. Look at the cat. Look at the cat. And the girl. That's so cute. So cute. Oh, look. The mustache. And Okay, I need to get going here. Oh, that was cute. The sheep. Ram. Lamb. Whatever it is. It's a ram, I think. That's cute. Ten out of ten. This book. I haven't even colored in it, and it's 10 out of 10. This book, if you have to get one book, get this book, A Million Little Monsters by Lulu Mail. I got it on Amazon for like 10 bucks, if that, I think it was $8.99 or something. And I love it. Next book, Summer Season Ceramic Tiles by Pratch Duan Sachdeva. We all know what her books look like. Just do a flip here. That's cute. There's that one. And then we have stress relief coloring book. This is just a basic book. I love the mushroom pages. And the flower pages. Cute. That one's cute. So lots of good stuff in that book to color. And then I have 100 Countryside Scenes from Coloring Book Cafe. This is a thick girl. The scenes in here are okay. Honestly, they're not my favorite, so I'm going to show you guys because they're just kind of blah. If you need to put some kind of color to paper, you could grab this book, but I don't honestly see myself gravitating towards this book a whole lot.
I don't really care for the line art. And I don't really care for the images. This one gets a 2 out of 10 for me. That's why they have so many images, I think, in here. That one's cute, though. This is Golden Retrievers. Daisy's a golden. Daisy went to the groomers yesterday and got a bath, and she was so happy to see her groomer friends. They always love her. Last but not least is Halloween Patterns. I know this came out last year, but I don't have this copy, so this is by Prachi Dewan Sachdeva. So this is what those images look like. And yeah. So there you have it. That is my coloring book haul for the month of August. It is a little early um, this month. And that's okay because, yeah, that's what it's going to be. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great week. And please like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit that notification bell and I will see you guys next time. Bye.